All right, welcome to my four round upper body workout with your boy, Flow Master. If you're joining me for the very first time, I love to have fun no matter what I do in my class, but I always tell people take the first 30 seconds in the first combination to take your time, and then after that, we go John Blaze. What is John Blaze? John Blaze means that you go fast. All right, so let's just get straight into it because I know y'all got stuff. Y'all got stuff to do. So we're gonna do sideways shuffles. When we get to the other end, A skip, and then sideways shuffles the other way, all right? So get to the end of your mat if you have it, because I know a lot of people don't have space. And go to your bag, A skip, then come back. Ready? We're going in three, two, one, sideways shuffle, A skip. I was looking in the Facebook community and a lot of people say they don't got a lot of space. So right here, this is where we live, right here. See this? Stay right here, A skip. Just warming up the body. So remember, I hope y'all did y'all dynamic warm up. Cause remember, this is just the cherry on top of the cake or the icing on the cake. Some people are like, I don't like cherry. <laughs> All right, we about to do gate openers. Gate openers to reverse lunge. Gate openers this way and then reverse lunge. Take it nice and slow. Keep your hands up at all times. Remember, this is still boxing. Perfect. So when you feel like you're loosening up, then you can start speeding up. <sighs> Go in and out of the, the lunge. Next one is inch, inch worm to arm circles. Walk it all the way out. When you get to the push up, rotate your arms to the front and then walk it back in. When you go back, now this, now this time instead of going outwards, you wanna go backwards and walk it. Now you can play around with it. Throughout my workout, I, I tell people to breathe in your nose and breathe out your nose. We got jump rope, pretend like you got a jump rope. Let's jump rope and rotate your wrists. Move, be on the balls of your feet. Try not to let your heels touch. We're waking up the feet. Even though this is the upper body workout, we still gotta wake up our feet. Cause what is the first thing that touches the floor? It's our feet. Wake them up. We're about to put our gloves off in three, two, one. All right, first combination. We got a one, two, two. All right, say that again. One, two, two, in a row. So we're gonna get in fighting stance. Make sure a line is in between your legs. The back leg is at a diagonal. I like to lift up the heel a little bit just to give me a little that I can move back and forth. We're gonna shoot the one, known as your lead hand. When you shoot the one, pretend like you got a glass of water and you're dumping the water out. Why? Because you wanna hit with the first two Two knuckles. Your rear hand, you're gonna turn your rear foot and hit the two and bring it back and hit two again. So we got one, two, two. It's very important that you turn that rear foot. Why? Because you're opening up the hips. Then we got high planks. You're pushing away. We're just sitting here relaxing. Then we come back up and do the combination. You ready? Fight and stands. Let's work nice and slow. One, two, two. Turning that rear foot. One. Two, two. Remember the first 30 seconds is nice and slow. Don't worry about power. Don't worry about speed. Just get used to turning that rear foot every time. Hoosh, hoosh, hoosh. The one and twos are long. They're not short punches. Hoosh, hoosh, hoosh. Plank, get down in the plank. When you're in the plank, you push away. Why? Because you keep your shoulders out of your neck. And this is where you live, right here. Breathe in your nose, breathe out your nose. So now when we get up, make it fluent. One, two, two. Breathe. Make sure you engage in your core, your quads, your butt, your feet, your hamstring, your shoulder muscles. Everybody up. Fighting stands. Nice and smooth. Look how I'm turning that rear foot every time, hitting two twice. One, two, two. Hands coming back to my face. Push, 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 
Wanna open up them hips. Eight seconds to go back to the, another high plank. One more. High plank. Why do I love high plank? Because it activates all the muscles in your body. You're stabilizing, you're triggering, you're waking everything up in your body. That's why I love high plank. If this is too easy, raise up a foot, but try not to turn your hips. Try to keep everything straight. All right, we're getting back up. One, two, two. Everybody up. Seek and destroy now. Hit. Turn that rear foot every time. Sink them legs. Yes, 13 seconds. We go to coast, one, twos. To finish the 30 seconds off. Then we go into round two. Let's go to one, two, coast. Now, when I do one, two, coast, I love to march. So if I'm hitting with my lead hand, I'm marching with my lead foot. If I'm hitting with my rear hand, I'm marching with my rear foot. Lead, rear. See, they go together. Once you get that, the reason why I do that because it teaches you to connect your hands and your feet together. Say it with me, together. And time. Breathe in your nose, breathe out your nose. All right, next combination. We got a one, but it's not the one to the face. It's one to the body. So where your body is, that's where you hit it on the back. But you have to sink your legs to hit the body. So as I'm hitting one, I'm sinking. My head is looking on the other side of the back. I'm gonna come up, hit one again, and finish it off with a two. So we got one to the body, one to the face, turn that rear, two to the face, all right? One body, one face, two to the face, all right? High plank again. Now, if this is starting to get easy, start adding shoulder taps, making it difficult for you to activate your upper body. Then we have that one, one to the face, two to the face. High plank, again, then we coast, fives and six, known as the uppercuts. Ready? Let's go, nice and slow, one to the body. Come up, one to the face, turn that rear, two to the face. The key is to drop, up, turn. Everybody do it with me. Drop, drop, turn. Drop to the body, one to the face, turn that rear, for two to the face. Easy work, easy work. Push. Everything is about your legs in boxing. The stronger legs, more powerful you are in boxing. Huh. High plank. Once again, we can turn high plank into shoulder taps. Nice and slow. If you shoulder taps you can't do, you stay right here to high plank. I want you to breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. And that's where we stay. Everybody else, shoulder taps. We're about to get back up. Now this time when we get up, let's see how smooth you can do this. Everybody up. Make it smooth. Shh, shh, shh. Just like that. Wah, wah, wah. Hands come back to your face all times. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. When you're hitting the body, pretend like someone's throwing a punch at your face and you're ducking and giving them a body shot. You're coming back up, ding them to the face, ding them to the face. So a punch coming to my face, body, face, face. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. High plank, get ready. Ha, high plank. Push away. This is only four rounds, y'all, so we got to make it kind of challenging for us. We can't stay in the easy box. So when you get up now, now I want you to pretend like the bag. Now I'm not saying violence, but pretend like you're sparring somebody on the bag. How well would you do that combination? One to the body, one to the face, and finish it off with the two. Everybody up. Let's bar. Yes. Easy at work. Nice and easy. So when you spar, bring them hands back to your face. Hands come back to your face. 
Hiss, hiss, block, block. For y'all who don't know how to block yet, just bring them right back to your face at all times. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. All right, ready, front of the bay. Five to six, coast. Shoot it straight on. Palm is facing you at a diagonal. Do a little march. Remember, lead hand, lead foot. Rear hand, rear foot. Marching in. There we go. Breathe. We ready to come up around three. Eight seconds. We're gonna turn up the combination a little bit. We're gonna make the combination a little longer now. Get ready. Time. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Front of the back. Fighting stance. We're gonna start with a two. When I hit a two, all my weight is on my lead foot. I'm gonna shift it all the way back to the rear to hit that three with the thumb up. Three. Now I'm gonna turn my rear foot six to the body. Then I'm gonna kind of lift up my lead foot for five to the body. All right, so we got two, four, set back for three, set forward for six, and step forward for five to the body. So we got two, three, six, five. All to the body, right where your body. High plank. Then this combination, we got one minute. I'm gonna give you one minute to do this combination. High plank. Then the last 30 seconds, I want you to spar it. Spar, pretend like this is a person. How would you throw this if you were sparring somebody? I like to say spar instead of fighting. Take the first 30 seconds and take it nice and slow. You ready? Let's go. So we got that two, lean forward. Lean back for three. Lean forward for six. Forward for five. Perfect. Just get it used to, just like that. Look how I'm turning my feet. This is how slow I want y'all to get it. Why? Because I want you to get your nervous system to get it. Because when it's time to go fast and hard, it's already in your nervous system. You're getting them hands to come back to your face. Two, step back, three, six to the body, five to the body. Everybody get down, high plank. All right, why y'all doing high plank? Look at the TV. So everybody turn your head to the TV like this. <laughs> When I say smooth, smooth is oosh, 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 oosh. That's all I want. See how I'm turning my feet? Everything's going together. Nice and smooth. Not hard, but smooth. We got one minute. Push away. Everybody up. Make it nice and smooth. Oosh, oosh. Let's be like Michael Jackson, smooth criminal. <sighs> how smooth you can get this combination. Twisting them feet. I'm going to tell you when to start speeding the combination up. But right now, keep it smooth. When I say speed, I want you to hit the combination as fast as you can. You ready? All right. Let's hit it with speed. Speed. Hoosh, 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 hoosh. 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 Back to smooth. Perfect. Eight seconds. So y'all have that combination, right? Last plank hold. Let's go. Push away. So now when you get up, let's spar the bag. For people who have footwork, when you finish the combination, be in a different part of the bag. Don't be in the same part where you started. If you start in front of the bag, be somewhere else after you finish the combination and start it somewhere else. Y'all got it? Everybody up. Let's bar. I'm in a different part of the bag now. Now I'm starting at a diagonal. Step over to somewhere else. The people who don't have foot work, just stay right here. Just keep your hands up when you finish. Keep your hands up when you finish. People who got foot work, shh, shh, be somewhere else. Perfect. We call this ghost. Whoo! Be like, where, where did he go? Here I am, <laughs> and I'm gone again. Where did he go? Here I am. <laughs> it's called being a ghost. And <laughs> breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Last and final. Round. So we're gonna put all them combinations. We're gonna do them all over again. So the first one minute, 
Let's push away. All right, we're gonna get up. Next 30 seconds is one, two, two. Just like we did in the first round. Back to high plank. Then we get back up. Next combination. One to the body, one to the face, two. High plank. And then we do the one that we just did. Two, three, six to the body, five to the body. I want everything to be like your sparring. The learning period is over. You know to twist that foot on two. Twist that lead hip on three. All right? You ready? Breathe in your nose. Breathe out. Kathleen Margaret. Thank you for triple stack, girl. I see you. Ready. High plank. Kathleen Margaret. Triple stack, y'all. She did triple stack up on you. All right. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Keep up the good work. But make sure, Kathleen Margaret, you take a recovery day. When you do a triple stack and you really push your body, you got to make sure you do a recovery day. We're getting up. One, two, two. Everybody up. Spar time. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Bring them hands back to your face at all times. Perfect. Get ready to get back to high plank again. High plank. All right, so when we get back up, we're going to act like Justin Zyke. Train like a fighter. We got two more rounds, and we're going to dedicate these rounds to Justin. It's psych. <laughs> All right, y'all. So when we get up, we are, we are turning into a fighter. So it's one to the body, one to the face. Finish off with the two. Everybody up. Showtime. Yes. Them hands come back to your face. Even when I drop to the body, my hands come back to my face so I can shoot the one again. Back to my face so I can shoot that one. Yes. Five seconds. Plank. All right, the last and final. Two, three, six to the body, five to the body. Train like a fighter. Let's go, y'all. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. We're almost home. Last and final round. We got this. Everybody up. Look at the bag. Three seconds. Ready. Let's work. Yes, keep them hands up. Train like a fighter, let's go! Eight seconds! And time. No one bend down. Everybody stand up. Put your hands to the side. Close your eyes. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Two more times by yourself, go. Let's take off them gloves. That was easy work. Very easy. Not hard at all. So I want everybody to bend on one knee. No matter left or right, it doesn't matter. The knee that's bent, make sure the, the foot is digging into the floor. I want you to keep your body straight. I want you to tuck your pelvis in, okay? Not back, but I want you to touch the table in. Keep your body straight so you feel it in that quad. Ready, tuck it in, keep the body straight. And you should feel it right here in the quads. If you're not feeling it, that means you're doing this. So stay right here, keep your body straight up and just tuck your pelvis. This is where we stay, right here. 
You can put your hands on your knee if you want to. We got five, four, three, two, one. Sink it back. As you sink back, you put the leg straight. Now this time, with your chest to go out, your butt goes back. Hit the hamstrings. A lot of people don't work on their hamstrings enough and wonder why their lower back hurts. A lot of time your lower back hurts because the hamstring gets tight. So I always tell people before you go do a lot of stuff on your lower back, stretch out your hamstrings first and see if that fix it. Uh -huh. Make sure you breathe in your nose and out your nose through this whole stretch. Don't stop breathing. In three, two, one. Come on up nice and slow. Switch to the other side. Make sure the toes is into the ground. Body is straight up. Tuck your pelvis under. Now you should feel it in the quads. You can put your hands on your knees if you want to. Stretch out them quads. On the other side now. We got three. We got two. We got one. Put the leg that's bent straight out. Push your chest out, sink your butt back. Now we're hitting the hamstrings. Perfect, set it back. Make sure that chest stays out. Don't cave in your chest. Keep the chest out. Feel it all in the hamstrings. That's where we live. Hey. I just wanna move. He got James Brown on. I got a, I'm not James Brown, but Rick James. I gotta calm myself down. We got three, we got two, we got one. Come on up, last stretch of the day. So I want everybody to take your, get in the tabletop. Take both hands and op open it wider than shoulder width. Now, this is what I want you to do. Your right, just your right arm. I want you to push away, go towards your left, your left hand. Now your palm turns up and just relax right here. Put your shoulder down, try to take your shoulder, push it to the floor, yes. This is where we stay, right here. And relax. You're just loosening up the shoulder, letting the shoulder warm down for them combinations that we just did. We got three. We got two. We got one. Now put the palm down. Come on up nice and easy. Now switch to the other side. Make sure your palm turns up to the ceiling and just drop your shoulder down and look at the other direction. Almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one. Come on up nice and slow. So there it is, y'all. Give yourself a round of applause. So any other stretch that I did not do here, make sure you take time and stretch. You can always go do a recovery workout or a pure stretch or a post-stretch workout as well. So thank y'all for joining me for this full round upper body workout. My name is Flow Master. Till next time, one love.